Are y'all going on? What's going on? I got this like it's called it'd be like halal like street food new york street food or something like that a little little street cart okay so if you're new to the channel please, please please subscribe to the channel go and subscribe even if you aren't if you haven't subscribed that we're going to subscribe to the channel hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video leave us some comments down below let's all things i see us try things i see us cook interact with us because we do like to hear from you i'm gonna say grace and get started definitely father thank you for this food that we're about to receive for the nourishment of our body and health in jesus name we pray amen So I wanted like five million. I wanted five million things today, and it was funny because I was on the phone with Yasmin, and for whatever reason, like our calls aren't going through. Like I'm trying to call her, it ain't go through. She tried to call me, it ain't go through. So it was funny because she called me. She was like, "Did you block me real quick?" They give you this like pita bread and then I, I get a um, mixed platter. So the lamb meat and the chicken. And then I also got a little spicy hot sauce on there and I get extra of the, um, the white sauce. I couldn't tell you what, I don't know what they do to it. The marinade, the flavor, I don't know what that's good, okay? I gotta give it a little salad over here. A little salad. It is the bomb. Okay, so. It was hilarious. She was like, um. When I kept going back and forth on where I was gonna eat, she was like, she was like, just reblock me now. <laughs> Cause I couldn't decide. I mean, I did take out some um, turkey ribs that I'm gonna bake, like, you know. But, that's a later, and I might not even eat it today. It'll be, you know, cook it later on today. I might not even eat it today. Or I might not even cook them today. I might, uh, Real hot. I warm it up. I might not even um cook it today. I might let them marinate today. I'll cook them tomorrow. Mm-hmm. What well, um what's his name? Simple food by CY. It was so funny. I'm like, hi. What'd you say? Hi. <laughs> I've been watching him on TikTok. I know he was been on YouTube and stuff like that, but I I like start really start watching his videos on TikTok. Like his videos start coming across my feed on, on TikTok. Um, bro, just so funny to me when he eating something or like making something and it look real good, he'd be like, my God, on today. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, but yeah, I was wanting, um, um, some Boston Market. But I think the one that I was gonna go to is closed. Like, I, I mean, I rode past her. 
And there's a sign that says it's open, but that thing ain't open. I should have went when I had the chance, man. But it's another one. It's only one other one. But you know what? I'm trying to figure out when I when I googled it, did it say it was closed? Some other spots I wanted to try. Another spot I wanted to try, but mm, this is one of them days where like. You want something good to eat. Like, you don't want to be disappointed. You want to get something that you know is going to be good. I'm in the mood to be exploring. I need my taste buds to be satisfied. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed that video with the bubby. When I tell y'all that little dude is hilarious, okay? It's so funny. I'm about to go up there. I'm about to go and watch it. temperature hot because <laughs> I, I warmed it up it probably was already still hot because i got it but then i did have a little meeting when i came back so i didn't do it right when i came home but oh yeah uh-uh I talked about it already in another video, but I did do this little style, but I'm sorry, man. My dang um now I'd have had it for a long time, but I barely I barely used my um hooded dryer. Hooded hair dryer. Alright. Bought it on a whim. What did I say this thing? Did I get it from the hair store? I don't know where I got this thing from, but I saw it and I was like, ooh, I probably I like should get this. I don't know if it I wanna say I probably had it even before I went natural, honestly. Like don't ask me why I bought this dryer, this hooded dryer. I think and it probably was only like 20 bucks or something like that. I feel like it had to be cheap for me to have bought it. But again, I don't remember where I got it from. I don't know if I got it from Walmart, from the Walmeezy, or um, the hair store, but man, I was gonna, so I did this like real late last night. Like I was up to like two o'clock in the morning. So I, I knew that usually when I do this, when I do it with perm rods, um, Yasmin can, she gets the same style, but she used flexi rods, but I don't, I hadn't mastered using flexi rods. So perm rods are my, my jam. And, um, Usually I'll keep it in for like I'll keep the rollers in for like a day because you know I want my hair I want to make sure my hair is dry so that means I probably should do it on the weekend but listen I am the queen of a midweek hair change the co fam used to make fun of me all the time well not make fun of me but they used to crack up all the time because. I will come, like I said, midweek, and my hair be different. Now, most people, or them, the women of the co-fam, they would, you know, wait to the weekend and then come in on Monday with a different hairstyle. But me, I, most of the time I would do it during, during the week because I probably do it while Gavin was either in school or something like that. <laughs> so... I thought I was playing a hair story. I'm going to tell you all in a second. I told the story before, but we're going to tell it again. Um, 
But yeah, they were like, you know, you can't, you can't do that to these male and sister folks because you know they barely know who we is anyway. They think we all look alike, and then for you to change it up midweek like that when they just saw you looking one way the day before. But yeah, so all that to say, yeah. That because I did it midweek, I couldn't. Well, actually, if I didn't have this one meeting that I had today, I probably could have. Well, actually, no, I got no. Want this one meeting in the morning? I could have let them stay in for a little bit longer anyway. But I had a meeting that I had to turn my camera on, so I mean, I had to take my rollers out, and they definitely weren't dry all the way. So, my hair is super big and super puffy, but it's okay. It's fine. It look, it's still, it's still cute. The only thing is, this is what it would normally look like probably three, four days into this hairstyle. Not the first day I take it out. And I didn't even, you know, it's the hairstyle that just keep on giving. So, I will maybe separate each curl one time the first day. And then subsequent days, I'll like separate them some more. But it does definitely look like I had it in for a couple of days, and it's only been this is the first day. <laughs> oh, okay. I did try and fool around with like trying to hold my hand dryer to my head, but oh, I ain't feel like doing that. No, I did for a little bit, but. Not as long as it needs to be, obviously. All right, so funny hair story, <laughs> or to me anyway. When I um, one time I did a midweek change, and like I said, most of the time I would do it during the week because it was that time probably where I could go while Gavin was still in daycare or whatever, or at school. So I would either. I would either take off work or I would just make an appointment like right, you know, in a time where I might leave work early and then go get Gavin afterwards or whatever. And so one time I was working at my old employer and I took off work, I think, and got my hair done. And, he was, and so when I came back, my work husband was like, you, uh, he said, you took off, he was mailing the recessive, he said, you took off work to go get your hair done? I sure did. Listen, you got to do what you got to do, okay? And he was also a funny person because, well, one, he was just freaking hilarious to me. And he probably was corny to other people, but let me tell you, he was just so, he was just hilarious. He was so funny to me. We had, we had so much fun just chilling, sitting, because we, we worked in a really busy area. But I'm telling you, like, him and, like, you know, all our other people in our, like, group and stuff like that, like, they really made the job fun, made it so much fun to come to work. Uh -huh. And then I think at one point they split our teams, so then he was on another team, and, but, yeah, but in any event, we had, like, we had so much fun just sitting at the desk clowning all the time, like, this one time, what did he do? He, he, I forget who played the prank on each other first. I think he did me first. He, one day I come in, well actually I feel like he got me twice. One time he turned, he like unplugged something, maybe unplugged my monitors or something like that or unplugged something. So like I was tripping, I'm like, what the heck is going on? Like why my stuff ain't working or whatever. And Come find out he had unplugged something or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know how I discovered that it was unplugged. But I was sitting there tripping like, you mm know. -hmm. Then probably when I, you know, I don't even know if he probably came out and said that he did it after a while. But, you know, when I discovered that it was unplugged, I'm just still, I'm just baffled. Like, dang, why, is my, why was it unplugged? Then, um, another time. He turned everything upside down on my, like literally all my stuff upside down. My chair, my monitors, all type of stuff he turned upside down on my desk. So, 
He went on maternity leave. Well, paternity leave. Because him and his uh, wife had uh, adopted a baby. So while he was gone, and it was so great because he was gone for a while, I foiled his desk. And when I tell you I foiled everything, like if he, I foiled individual paper clips. I was dedicated to this thing, okay? I foiled everything, his monitor, his screen, his chairs, his cabinets, trash can, papers, his pictures that he had on his desk. I foiled it all. I know I still got the picture, so I'll, I'm going to definitely, I, I can't, I hope I don't forget because I definitely got to put them pictures in there. Right. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sure he will have no doubt. Oh, I think this is a great way to welcome somebody back to the office. Oh, yeah. And I, I still have pictures of when he um when he uh turned my stuff upside down. But nothing tops the foiling. And I got the idea because Well one I had to figure out what I was gonna do to get him back. I mean it was perfect because he wasn't in the in the desk. And I think even some people I I feel like people probably helped me. <clears throat> I think people helped me. But, you know, I just did it over time, like, you know, every day or whenever I would just, you know, do a little bit at a time or whatever. And it took him a while to unwrap everything. And then he kept he, every now and then he would throw the foil at me as he unwrapped stuff. I mean, he had a can of soup on his desk that I wrapped in foil. And I'm not kidding y'all. When I say every paper clip that I could see, I, I foiled it. I, um, if it, he had change on his desk, I foiled that. It was great. I don't think he did nothing to me. He, he ain't pranked me after that. I don't think anyway. But, um, oh, I got the idea because when I was in this other position before I got that one. And this lady, she's a Halloween baby. So her friends came and foiled her desk. And I love it because she loved it so much that she ended up, oh, she watches my videos. I don't know if she'll see this one, but Diddy Kittens, she, I like calling her Diddy Kittens, but um, she, her friend spoiled her desk and I loved it because they made her a crown and everything. And like, she just moved everything out the way a little bit just so that she could, um, so she could um, just work in the foil. Now, I think I got a picture of her desk being full, too. I still got the picture of her. Maybe I'm going to send it to her. Send it to her on the medias. I know she tried to text me. She said she tried to text me recently, but I, my um, number changed. But, um, but she might still have the same number. I don't know. Maybe I'll wait for her to text me. I don't want to text no random person this picture of her. And they'd be like, uh, where? But, yeah, so when they, so her friends spoiled her desk. So then I was like, boom. You know, I just put that in the back of my head. Spoiled homie, homie desk. Like me, I am definitely a person who would like to have fun at work. Okay, if I can't have fun, if I can't laugh. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be good. And the true testament of that is, uh, I was in, or when it stopped being fun, that's when I got to go. I got to go because I don't like that. I don't like to be, and and they don't even be the work. Really, it be people. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I don't worked in some high volume, what most would consider high stress, like situations, but it never like really bogged me down or got to me. It really was just some, some people, the team, people, whatever, at some point or another, like really just made it not enjoyable anymore. But still to this day, now I will say, but see, I was going to say that team that, that I had my work husband on, I feel like that was like the best team I ever worked for, like for real. But also me and the co-fam though, but we got close outside of work though. So I don't necessarily want to say that it was a team now, of course we brought, or oh, we had fun at work for sure, but. I don't know if I say it was the best team that I worked on, but definitely them they became friends and family outside of work for sure. Like, and but one person on that team with my work husband, we we still actually two, no two, no three. All right, never mind. A lot of people we all still communicated, did stuff outside of work or whatever. But yeah, we just, I think maybe I'm just thinking like if, if maybe if it was outside of work, like consistently me and the co-fam, we got together, like we tried to make it a monthly thing to get together and hang out. Whereas my other team, like we just was strictly like mostly for the most part cool at work. But I did have like my one, she don't like, she don't let me call her this, but Yoli, but only because so then my other work husband called him. I had I had two work husbands. I had to switch, you know what I'm saying? My other work husband, he got moved to another team. So then I sat next to this newer guy that had got on our team. And um he would call her Yoli, but she did not like it, but he still did it anyway. <laughs> but um like me and me and me and Yoli, we that's my girl. That is my girl. We hung out all the time. I was over at her house all the time. Like we hung out. Um she she kept um OG Gab for me a couple times, like quite a few times. I would do her hair for stuff or like help her take her hair out and do her hair. I dyed her hair. She gave me the idea to dye my hair because of how this process well it, and it's a store bought little kit or whatever, but how she had me dye her hair. I did the same thing on mine. Like, you know, and, and I had made pumpkin. I had made pumpkin rolls for a, a collab video, and I was strictly and sincerely inspired by her. Cause I always make fun of her. She she had me in a pumpkin roll sweatshop one time, man. She like made pumpkin rolls for, and that was like a little side hustle for her or whatever and them things was well, good but i get why people will have her do it they definitely taste better than a store-bought but they definitely labor intensive like we was in that thing working you hear me and, but it was funny because for me like she is a stickler as far as measuring stuff and me once i make a thing once i was making them like you know i had made quite a few I got the process down, so I didn't feel like I needed to measure some stuff or whatever. She was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't be coming up in here and changing my process, girl. That's probably what she was thinking in her head, but she's very sweet, very kind about it. She wasn't. I mean, but, he, he, like, even if she was, like, we cool. Like, I, I wouldn't, you know, been tripping or whatever. But, yeah, so me and her hung out. Me and another girl, we hung out often. Like, we have, that was it. I mean, I had some people that I was, like, super, super close with. Probably, I'd say about three of no four four of them that i was like super super close with others that i was really close with but we just talked outside i mean talked at work but others we talked outside of work like that was my homies i don't know it was just it was the best team man we and at but because at work we had so much fun like potlucks was lit on that team you hear me like dip day we had dip days and dip days was the best days, okay? Like, we, you, I didn't know that you could get full off dip. Like, we would have, I will always be in charge of bringing buffalo chicken dip. And even um, with the co-fam, that became my job again, bringing buffalo chicken dip. Uh, and, 
Yeah, we we had we had all type of dip, and then sometimes we would like we would have different categories of dip too. Like we have you know the lunch dip, dinner dip, breakfast dip, man or dessert dip um, or whatever. I probably never eat dessert. Well, no, I probably did eat some of the dessert dip, but one of these dips was like a mint chocolate chip. So, and I don't I don't do that. I don't do that. Um, what else? I told y'all this was the same. I, I mentioned this, I don't know, some videos ago about um, one of the girls on this team that I was talking about. She would somehow got the hookup to go get um, like Panera's leftover like ba baked goods from the prior day. She would bring that at least once a week, maybe even more, but definitely at least once a week she would bring us a big old bag of um, baked goods from Panera Bread. Everybody was on it thirsty. I mean... I told you about the one dude that even came in on his off day sometimes to get the stuff, okay? Um, but yeah, uh, it was a good team. Su such a good team. We had a lot of fun. We ate good food. That's probably why I, that's probably why I think it's the best team because we ate good. You hear me? We either was ordering stuff, my manager, she would bring, and I'm surprised that I still haven't gotten these donuts. I'm not close, but um I guess I'm closer than what I was. No, well I've been I've been up this way. But anywho, she got these donuts from this place called Eight Sisters Bakery. But I seen somebody um in a foodie group here in Columbus or whatever. They posted somebody asked what the best donuts in Columbus was and they said the Eight Sisters Donuts or a sister's bakery, but then somebody was like, you know, they went after a certain time and they 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 barely have nothing. And that's one thing my manager did tell me that she would get there like right when they open because they sell out pretty quickly or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna have to make a trip up there one day or whatever. Um, I don't know. I I, I just clearly got real talkative in this video. Another thing I wanted to uh, go back to my work husband because. Uh, the one time that I left and got my hair done, I had got some box braids and that was probably the first time I had any sort of braids. Well, maybe just box braids. I probably had braids, but box braids in my adult life or whatever. And for whatever reason, was my hair, sh I'm trying to figure out if my hair was short. I think my hair had gotten short and then I grew it out and I had enough hair to get the box braids. So I got the box braids. Now, I wasn't used to having all that weight on my head because my hair was literally short, like Holly Berry cut short, like that short. And so <laughs> the braids was heavy and I wasn't used to it. So when I got to work the next day, like, you know, I'm like, I'm moving with my whole body instead of like just turning my head or whatever. And he was make, he was clowning me and I'm just like, dude, like it's heavy like the brace was heavy i don't know and probably too my head was a little tender because i that that time i had went, went and got it done by some um some african ladies or whatever um and yeah uh so they i was just turning like this and he was like why is you turning like that like which do you, like what's going what's wrong with your head or what's wrong with your neck so he, I tell the story all the time. So then he was clowning me, right? And our whole little section that was right there was just laughing because he's clowning me. So then, you know, we get, we stop laughing about it, whatever. We get back to work. This lady comes to ask me a question or whatever. And my desk is kind of like when people came to my desk, you really was like kind of my back was towards the entrance to my little cube or whatever. So when I turned around, I like turned with my whole head or whatever. And she, she should, she, you know, she trying to shug it off or, you know, I don't know, brush it off. But then after a while, she's just like, well, is something wrong with your neck? <laughs> and the whole, my whole little section just started, it just erupted in laughter again. We was already just laughing about it. And then we just started laughing about it again. It was funny. Oh gosh, just good times, man. Good times. But yes, I'm excited to show y'all. I think I probably showed y'all this before too, honestly. Um, when I foiled his desk. Um, but yeah, I like to have a good time at work. Um, and as, and like I said, when, when times when work don't get fun or work not fun no more, that's when I'm gonna have to go ahead and head out like SpongeBob because I can't, I can't do it. And, uh, speaking of which, there was another team after at my old employer. After I got off that team, I moved to another team, and uh, it was just so stuffy in that area. Like every like now, I will say it was like the creme de la creme. I felt like if you worked in that area, it was just like, oh, okay, you like you real smart, you know some stuff or whatever. Blah, they skip. It was in the asset management business, and like I worked at a uh, in banking. 
And so we were in asset management and like, I mean, okay, granted, it was definitely status or whatever. You know, we had some high rollers coming in there or whatever. And just obviously that's a big, probably really profitable part of the business and stuff like that. And our little area was like, you had to have badge access to even get in there. It was like a glass like area yeah you you had to be special to, you had to work in there to get in there otherwise somebody had to let you in it was it was a different areas like that at the in the building but any event um it was just too stuffy like i would be laughing in there people would just be like it was it was that to the point where like people was wearing business professional not business casual business professional every day so they come to work in suits and stuff and that ain't my ministry, okay? I, I come with business casual. I don't have no problem with that. But also, it was a pl- we could wear jeans. Like, the rest of the company policy was that you could wear jeans, but they was acting real crazy up in there. Like, you couldn't, uh, like, nobody, like, people rarely wore jeans. And then, if some big wig came in the building, then you, it didn't matter if it was jean day or not, you had to wear business cra- casual or business professional, or whatever. Listen, if people know me, I am a rebel without a cause. I don't, um, or with a cause, I don't know. But I don't, I don't subscribe to that. Like, I'm, I'm going to be comfortable. And especially when, like, why well, I got to adhere to different policies. And then I just would, like, I would be on the phone. <laughs> like, I would be getting my work done or whatever. Like, I'll oh, listen, at the end of the day, I I ain't gonna get let go because I ain't get my work done. I'm, we not doing that. We gonna we gonna work. Okay, we definitely gonna work. We gonna get it done. We gonna get it done on time. You give me a deadline, we'll have it done by the deadline. Now, am I gonna have it early? Ugh, it just depends on how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? But you gonna have it to you by the time that you ask me to have it to you. That's 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 a fact. Okay, it's a fact. Now, if you want it earlier, then tell me earlier. Otherwise. Don't give me a deadline. Then be, you know what I'm saying? You gave me the deadline. I'm going to get it done by the deadline. Okay. Anywho. But yeah, they were, it was just real stuffy in there. Like I said, like, I, I mean, I did it. Like, I didn't dress up all the time, but I mean, I think people did feel like it was a pressure to be like on point all day, every day. No, I was in there and I was clowning. I probably was a little loud. I'm a, listen. I'm loud on video, so could y'all imagine me in per in real life? And I am me. Like this is me all the time. Like I'm just really silly, goofy. And if I'm on the, I'm on the phone, I'm laughing, and people just like, what is you know? Saying they probably looking like, what is that girl laughing at? It's funny stuff. Like, or even if I was on the phone, if I saw some, I'm not st- stifling a laugh. I'm gonna laugh or whatever. I don't know. I probably cut up a lot in that position. I go lie. <laughs> I'd be gone. I, you know. Anywho, 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 and also, lastly, for real, this is. I think this is gonna be the last thing because clearly I'm real talkative and I, I gotta go. Um, this hairstyle reminds me of. Um, I used to do this a lot when I had braces or whatever, and I absolutely, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was super cute. I've got this hair or the idea for this hairstyle from a girl that I went to college with or whatever. She had just like did this tutorial on, on, uh, on, I think it was on Facebook or something one time. And I was like, Ooh, I could do that or whatever. So I went on ahead and did it and I absolutely loved it. Cause I think I tried to do perm rides before. I'm not perm rides. I tried to do flexi rides and y'all, when I tell you that it just looks so trash, like, but also I think the issue too was that I did it on wet hair and I told y'all for my hair type if I'm gonna do a curly style like this or something like that it needs to be on dry hair because on wet hair it just my hair just don't it don't it don't do what it needs to it don't give it don't give so it has to I have to do these type of styles on dry hair unless I'm doing like a a twist outs I could do dry or wet um Bantu knots. I I used to love trying to do those all the time, but I don't know why I kept doing it because they don't look, they didn't look right. And now that I think about it, like it didn't look right, but I still was trying to wear it anyway. I think the only thing that probably turns out right wet on my head is probably some because my hair. I don't know. It's just weird. It's like I got a mixture of both my dad and my mom's hair. So when my hair is straight, you could tell. And even maybe like this a little bit, you could tell like that I got some of some of my mama in me. But when it's wet, when it's snappy, I got my daddy's side of family hair. Like I got black hair like that. You know what I'm saying? That black hair. You feel me? Um, but I mean, my hair is very versatile. I'm very blessed. It's very versatile. I could do a lot with it or whatever. Um, 
and yeah and obviously it just takes a lot of learning like i've definitely come a long way <laughs> in the natural hair journey just learning what works and what doesn't work for my hair and what i did just like for real okay this is about to be the last thing i think when i cut my hair before i had got those box braids that i was being made fun of for um I had went to this hairstyler, hairstylist, and I was so disappointed because, like, well, one, she did really cool, like, really dope shortcuts and stuff like that. But, um, oh, I ain't gonna say I'm gonna put this picture in here because I just don't even like it. It looks horrible. But, um, I went to her to get my hair cut or whatever. And she was like, oh, you natural? She's like, oh, I'm gonna have to put a relaxer in this girl. What? Like, what do you mean? What type of hairstyles are you that you... You got to put a relaxer in my hair like why like you know but obviously she just wasn't she didn't work with natural hair it was back home in cleveland and you know just wasn't her expertise i think that now like she has a little bit more, has definitely has a lot of experience because that was like i mean this was years ago um so yeah so <laughs> when she um when she cut my hair the cut was fine but then, like, as far as, like, she was just, I guess, kind of confused on how to get my hair to lay down. And it looked like I had a relaxer without giving me a relaxer. Because by that time, I mean, I was well out of the cream and crack. Like, I probably, I'm probably at least five years removed from the cream and crack. And I'm just like, you're not about to put no relax. If I tell you I'm natural and I ain't had the cream and crack in I don't know how long, what make you think that you gonna, I'm going to let you put a relaxer in my head? Like, girl, no. No, you better figure this thing out. Okay. And, and I, I don't know, like, it, or maybe specify that on your website, like, okay, I'll do shortcuts, but I don't really do shortcuts with natural hair, like, you, like, or something, I don't know, but anyway. But yeah, so when she cut my hair and then she curled it and I looked like a, somebody's granny, okay? I look like somebody's granny. We gonna see if I can watch this back if I feel like I want to put that picture in here, because it's embarrassing, it's sad. All right, that's it. That's all, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Let us know things I see us try, things I see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. And subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. And hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Maybe somebody can argue. I look, I, I look like somebody granny now, but I mean, whatever. I'm cute, though. I like this hairstyle. I ain't like the other. Right, peace out, y'all.